welcome. We are very excited to be presenting to you a new training format and we have Reese Bailey with us, a new young budding scientist. Reese, how old are you? Five and a half. Five and a half years old. And do you like science, Reese? Yes. Yes. And what's your favorite thing about science? Um, I like potions. You like to make potions. And have you ever heard of the Quirkles? Yes! Yes, yes. We love the Quirkles, don't we? Well, yes. Reese, what is getting ready to happen in a few weeks? Halloween! That's right, Halloween, and we love Halloween, don't we? <laughs> Halloween is a great time to do science, isn't it? And today, I'm going to show you how you can take several science concepts and turn it into a Halloween-type activity. So why not have a Halloween science party, right? Yeah. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about density. This is an activity that would go along nicely with the Density Dan book. So let's get started, okay? Okay. We have about three-fourths a cup of water in our glass, and let's take our shaving cream, and let's just squirt some shaving cream on top of our water. There we go. Let's call this a vampire potion. What do you think? You think that'd be a good name for it? Yeah. Uh-oh. I think we have a problem. What do you think our problem is? It's hey, not red. it's not red, and we know a vampire isn't gonna like it if it's red because what do vampires like? Blood. They like blood. Are vampires real? They're in fiction. But why is our shaving cream just sitting on top of the water? What's wrong? Did we get some bad shaving cream? No. Well, what's wrong with that? Why isn't it sinking? It's lighter. We could say that the shaving cream is less dense than the water, couldn't we? Yes. That's right, it's less dense. Well, let's make it look very vampirish. Let's take our dropper and we have water mixed with red food coloring and we're gonna just take it and squirt it all over the top of our shaving cream. Let's see what happens to that. Let's see if our water just sits on top of our shaving cream or if it starts sinking to the bottom. Is the water sinking down through the shaving cream? Look, do you see it? Is it turning your water red? It is. So Reese, what can we discover by that? But the water that we're putting on top of the shaving cream it's heavier than the shaving cream, isn't it? And it's sinking down through the shaving cream and coloring the water, isn't it? So that proves that water is more dense than the shaving cream, doesn't it? But Reese, you know what? A potion isn't really a potion unless it bubbles, is it? We could use vinegar. We could use, can we just use vinegar though? We can use baking soda. Well, what's that going to do? It's going to make it bubble. It's going to make it bubble. Because when we mix vinegar and baking soda, we're making a gas. What kind of gas are we making? We're making carbon dioxide. That's right. We're making carbon dioxide. Yay! And carbon dioxide is the kind of gas that's in soda pop, isn't it? Yes. It's also in our air, isn't it? Yes, we breathe out carbon dioxide and we breathe in oxygen, right? Mm -hmm. And it helps plants make their food, doesn't it? Yeah, so carbon dioxide is pretty important, but it's very important for a Halloween potion, isn't it? And we're gonna put some baking soda on top of our vampire potion. All right, are we ready to make our potion? And here's your stick. Now remember, we have to stir it once we once we pour in our vinegar because we're gonna make carbon dioxide, right? So pour your vinegar in, and we have vinegar in our cup. Pour it in, and let's stir it. Oh my goodness, now stir and see if we can get it to overflow. Is it getting bigger or is it getting smaller? It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and it's overflowing, isn't it? Yes. It sure is. Like That's right. Anything that you add vinegar and baking soda to, you are gonna form carbon dioxide and get a reaction. It's a chemical reaction. Well, we sure had fun, didn't we, Reese? Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And you can see more of our Quirkles on our YouTube videos, our YouTube network, or check us out online at www.quirkles.com. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.